hey guys, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living, and I wanted to um, do a follow-up video on our attempted license plate theft trespasser video from last week. So uh, I know those kind of videos get a lot of attention. You know, you get a lot of um, concern about security and safety when you think about a trespasser on your property. But I wanted to go over, now that I've been thinking about it more and kind of looking more at the details of the situation, I wanted to propose an alternate theory of what I actually think happened. So I've got five reasons in this video I want to go over um, ideas why I think that our license plate on the ground was caused by an animal rather than a human. And I know a lot of people were thinking, no way that an animal is going to go after your license plate. It's 100% a human activity. Um, this was attempted theft, what have you. Um, but there's some compelling evidence that I looked into a little bit more, which makes me think that it was animal caused. So, um, let's go over some of these. I think that um, some of these might make you think as well. The first reason, the first theory is probably the most logical one. You know, why I think this was animal versus person. Because um, basically there was really no evidence of human activity other than the fact that there was a plate on the ground. There was no, there was no tracks. There was no uh, signs of anything else being moved out of the way. There was no theft of any other items. Um, there was just nothing obvious that made it seem like this was uh, a human activity other than it was a license plate, right? Had um, something else been obvious, like um, some other attempted theft, then I would might think differently. But that was, that's kind of my first one that was like, okay, there's really, there's not, nothing else wrong here. And if a thief was here, it seemed like something else might be, you know, presently wrong. So that's number one. Number two is probably my biggest evidence um, when we look again at the markings on the license plate, I think that really points more animal than human. And let's take a closer look because I want to show you. So really there's just two scenarios of, of what may have happened if it was human. One, it was uh, a spur of the moment decision, steal a license plate, or two, it was premeditated. And if it, number two is true, then the person would have been carrying tools, right? So if someone's thinking, I'm going to go steal license plates, I'm going to carry tools with me, maybe something like a screwdriver. Uh, if it wasn't premeditated, then they may have only had something like a pocket knife on them. So I don't know, people carry tools, but let's think, you know, if, if you're going to steal a license plate, you're probably not going to do it with your bare hands. You're probably going to use some kind of tool. So let's go, let's re sort of recreate the scene. And you're coming in, say you're sneaking around and you've, you're, you've got something like a screwdriver. Um, how would you go about it? Okay, these are star screws, so they're not going to work, right? can't really get under the head of the screw with this with the way that these um, these bolts are on there uh, so you're gonna pry it off right so you could try to pry off the entire license plate holder right that might be the most logical just pry off the whole plastic holder it's just plastic right so you might come in from the side to try to wiggle it or maybe use a hand and just kind of like pull the whole thing off right but this the base holder wasn't pulled off just the front one okay so the other um, thing to notice is the scratching marks, right? They're on the surface. So what's this? This is not taking off a license plate, is it? You would come in from the top, pry it off. Or you would come in from the side, pry it off. Or the bottom and pry it off. Or, so just the fact that these scratches are on the surface and then these two really close to each other and on the plastic right here, it just looks like teeth marks. Actually, looks like it was bit. And these three right up here, what's this? This is not coming in and trying to pry something. This is clamping down. So whether these are teeth marks or claws, um, anyhow, there, the, why is, there's two more right here. So someone or something, an animal, um, bit down. This is not how you take off a license plate and you wouldn't you these are circular. This is this is a sharp tool. You'd be having sharper markings if you were coming in from the top, but this is not how you take off a license plate, right? You'd come in and pry it or you'd come from behind and pry it. So that is my most convincing reason why I think, you know, it doesn't make any sense why somebody would try to, you know, take take a license plate like that. Um, why would you come and scratch it like that when you can... Anyway, I can understand where people might think, you know, the person was in a hurry, they weren't being logical, they're just stabbing at it. Maybe. 
Um, but if they were in a hurry, then they seemed like they would have hurried out of there with a the license plate if they were that desperate. But, okay, so that's my biggest convincing evidence. The other one has to do with the license plate itself, and that was the idea of a missing screw. So, when I came back to the scene, I looked all around, I found the license plate, the front of the holder, and a screw on the ground, but only one. So, I used this magnetic tool, you know, you, you're kind of going over your the dustiness and rolling all around to see if I could find, didn't find anything. Although it may have ruined my ambition to find any kind of tracks. But, so, do I have proof that there was only one screw? No, except this video footage. This is from a previous video from the American flag. So, it's very blurry, it's hard to see, but if you look at the shadows, it almost looks like there was a missing screw. The reason being, there was only two screws holding on the license plate right here. One on the top, one. There was no bottom screws. So see how the bottom screws is kind of like a, see where the shadow is. And looking at the top one again, it's kind of like got that shadow. I know this is kind of far-fetched, it's blurry footage, but my idea, my theory, is that there was only one screw holding the license plate on. Somehow they weren't on very tight from last year, they gotten loose. So the question is, is it possible that um, because only one screw was found, there was only one screw on there and it was loose enough that an ammo was able to pry it off without a lot of trouble. So it's <laughs> not so much that I can tell in the video, but the fact that I only found one. Perpetrator could have run off with one in his hand, but if that was the case, why didn't he just run off with the plate, you know? Um, so, that's number three. Let's go to number four. Obviously, no, you know, with our with our shed situation, we had to kind of do a makeshift storage. We've got tarps, we've got pallets. A bunch of our junk is kind of in this area, um, which makes a great haven for rodents, chipmunks, bunny rabbits, squirrels, mice. What does that attract? Larger predators. And even your household predator, like Vigo. He's constantly over here every day looking around these piles for bunny rabbits and squirrels every day you know they're running around i see i've not been able to catch the bunny rabbit on footage but you know here's a few squirrels for good measure and some chipmunks um so yeah there's a lot of animal activity in fact there has been a coyote roaming around right close i've seen him right by the retaining wall um i think he's after the bunny rabbits and so what that tells me is that because these animals are really close to the house, really close to this area, this is my actual theory of what I think happened. I actually think it was a chickmunk that either, you know, if this happened early in the morning, a coyote was after it or a fox and it was running through here, running, 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 getting chased and it jumped up on the car but let's take a look. This isn't just a regular, this is a, a getaway opportunity for a squirrel. Look at the tow hook here. Look at the tow hook. Um, there's an opening behind it. Perfect for a squirrel or a chipmunk or a rodent, but probably a chipmunk because those tend to jump a lot. It could have gotten behind the grill. Look at where the grill is in proximity to the license plate. If there was a squirrel or a chipmunk behind here, and a predator was trying to get at it, you think it might bite at the license plate or scratch at it or just give it one big try to try to get from, get this out of the way so they could get behind and get the animal. This is, this is really my, this is my clincher theory, you know? Uh, I don't know. That's why I, I feel like it could be a really viable theory. Um, and I have one more um, fact number five or lack of evidence number five, why I think it was animal versus human is that there was just really no other crime. Um, there was no way, you know, people were thinking that people were, the um, perpetrator was after vehicle theft, but there was no way to steal the vehicle. Um, there was no ac exit point. The trail that connects to the forest road doesn't fit a vehicle. You know, it looks, it's barely the width of a four-wheeler. So you can't take your vehicle out that way. 
and the vehicle was blocked in by other vehicles behind us. There was two other vehicles in the trailer in the driveway at the time. So there wasn't an exit point to steal the vehicle. Um, there were, there was no, nothing else was touched on the car. There were, like I said, other vehicles that were untouched. So there was just no evidence of theft. People mentioned um, the idea that the, the perpetrator could have been after the sticker on the license plate. And you might have noticed that this does say uh, 2020, but that's because I put my stickers on the front of the license plate by accident, or I put these plates on the front, the back license plate. Wait, wait, you, I, ha I still have my 2021 sticker. Okay. So nobody was after the sticker. Um, the reason I found this out was because after I called the sheriff and I called the DMV, the DMV called me back and said, you only get one sticker. You know, you don't have a front sticker and a back sticker. You just have one. And the reason I was confused about the stickers is because I put my stickers on the wrong end of the car last year when I put them on. So that's why I had a front sticker that was last year or, um, from 2020. Um, you know, I think uh, it's easy for us to kind of jump to conclusions. It was definitely my first impression that I thought that someone had come to our property um, to steal license plates. But, you know, I still don't have solid evidence that that wasn't the case. You know, this is a theory about the animals, but I feel like it's the most likely theory. It's kind of like, you know, when you misplace something at home and you think your spouse took it or your kids took it. You immediately think, who moved my cheese? You know, who took my shoes? Where's my cell phone? Someone took it. But... In reality, it was some other situation. So I think our first instincts is always that someone else has done something to us. But um, when you kind of take the big perspective and looking at all the evidence and really weighing it out, um, I think you can come to maybe more sound conclusions. Just being, just, just throwing that out there, guys. I don't know what you think about it. If you think, I know a few people, not too many, but a few people actually said it was animal. Um, uh, some, I think a one or two comments said it was me. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. But uh, it's just interesting, you know. There is no proof either way. There's no proof of what actually happened. There wasn't a camera pointing at the car at the license plate at the time. And maybe there will be in the future. Because we appreciate all of the tips and the comments everyone's left on that previous video, the trespasser video. Um, but uh, so we're going to stay vigilant here. We're going to keep you guys updated on our progress because I'll tell you the next video. Let me give you a preview. Can you see what's behind Brian's truck there? We've got a big pile of gravel and a big project this weekend. And that's Brian working on the driveway. We're going to get started on GeoCell textile and securing the stone on the driveway, getting the driveway finally graded before winter. So a big project this weekend, guys. We're going to keep you updated, but thanks for joining in. And you know, if you have any more comments about the uh, license plate idea, let me know. We'll see you next time.